It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. I recently got asked about the difference between the definition of ready and the definition of done. But then the follow-up question was, yeah, but do they really make a difference? Do they help you achieve success in Agile? And as I pondered this question, I thought it'd be a good idea to throw together a podcast episode to talk about this very subject. So when you start talking about Agile, some of the words that come to your mind right away, of course, are efficiency and transparency and excellent communication. And all those things are paramount to delivering a successful product or project. At the core of what you do, there are two critical concepts that I just now talked about. Uh, One, DOR, definition of ready, and the other is DOD, definition of done. Now, I do want to point out that neither of these specifically appear in the Scrum Guide, for example. But that doesn't mean that they're not important. And many people look at this and they say, "It, it sounds like these things are pretty much the same or similar. They do serve completely distinct purposes when you're trying to apply Agile. So let, let's go through each one quickly. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on each one because I want to make sure we keep it within our 15-minute time frame. So let's start with definition of ready. So this definition of ready usually refers to requirements gathering and requirements breakdown. So once a story is examined and refined, the team can then work together to provide an estimate uh, of what they feel we, it would require for them to be able to complete this uh, within the scope of a sprint, within the confines of a sprint. But how do we assess whether the story is fully prepared and ready to be included in the sprint? Uh, is it equipped with all the essential information to initiate the work? Can we reasonably expect to complete the story within a sprint's time frame? These questions are the ones that you find the answers to through your definition of ready. So definition of ready is more like a checklist or uh, a guide of the requirements a story must satisfy before it's deemed ready for the Agile team to begin their work. What I can tell you is that many organizations without a definition of ready, work ends up sneaking its way into the sprint that hasn't quite been vetted or prepared. And it causes the team to either have to carry work over from one sprint to another. It causes the team some grief. So this makes sure that all the necessary elements are in place so that you have clarity and confidence that the story can be tackled. So while items, you know, specific items on a definition already uh, can vary from team to team or from product to product or project to project, I wanted to give you some examples of what a checklist might look like. So uh, here's just a few things. I'm just going to throw out a few. Uh, Once again, I don't want to be exhaustive. Here we go. So a clear description and acceptance criteria that's clearly defined, perhaps using Gherkin, given when then, right? Given this scenario, when this happens, then this is what I expect. This is going to be critical to making sure that you uh, have the story ready to enter the sprint. Any dependencies that are related to this story are identified and resolved or put in a place where they can be resolved. The story has its size or relative complexity estimated, and it's feasible to be completed within a single sprint. It's not something that has to be broken down. The story follows the invest model as closely as possible. It's independent, negotiable, valuable, estimable, sized appropriately, and uh, testable. And if there are any mock-ups required to figure out what you're trying to do, if it's something brand new you're building, your mock-ups are finalized and approved, and they exist with the story, And I think that those things are all important. I think that you need to have everything. And the easiest way for me to describe it, piggybacking on what we discussed last week, is that these stories have been vetted through ideation and discovery, and they're ready for delivery. So these things are ready for delivery. So Agile ensures, a a strong Agile definition of ready ensures that things, work items that enter the pipeline are well prepared and free from misunderstanding. So ultimately, you can have a streamlined workflow. Okay. So I think that's a pretty good DOR. Let's talk about definition of done. So DOD, definition of done, is the closing criterion for a user story. So it addresses essential questions such as whether uh, your unit testing, integration testing, automation testing, and performance testing have been completed. 
uh, as part of the original ticket and uh, you're good to go. Everything is clean. In essence, the definition of done is also a checklist, but this time it makes sure that the story meets all the criteria before it can be considered complete and ready for closure by the team. Uh, once again, I want to give you a little bit of an example, but also I want to make sure I preface it. Specifics for the definition of done can differ among teams, among products, among projects, but I just want to give you some idea of some things you might consider. And once again, definition of done checklists can be exhaustive. I don't want to make it exhaustive. I just want to give you some examples. So unit tests are written and passed. All integration tests are passed. Any kind of automation test have been executed and passed. Test cases are written and executed. Test evidence is attached to a story. Um, if there's a story that has acceptance criteria that's extended, it meets all the extended acceptance criteria. Performance tests, if ap applicable, have been conducted and the performance is within an acceptable range of limits. Any kind of stress testing is done. Um, a UX review has been done. The product owner review is done. The release notes are added in JIRA or whatever tool you're using. The point I'm trying to make is the definition of done, now this is where it gets interesting, means that the story is prepared to be presented in the demo to be accepted by stakeholders. Let me say that one more time. The definition of done means that the team has done all they can to prepare the work and that it is ready to be demonstrated to the stakeholders for final acceptance. That's where definition of done lays. So I think a lot of times when people look at DOR, DOD, they, they confuse them or they don't know what they should be or uh, they don't look at them as they're mutually exclusive, but at the same time, it involves the entire Agile team and there needs to be collaboration to get both of them done. But I want to make sure I emphasize, I've said it twice, I'm going to say it a third time because I think this is critical. There's no such thing as a spandex checklist for DOR and DOD. There's no such thing as a one size fits all model. It varies from team to team, from product to product, from project to project. It becomes the responsibility of the group to work together and brainstorm to identify what criteria needs to be met before you commence to work or before you demo the work. All those things need to be figured out. So while both these are critical pieces of agile you know, uh, mindset, I think these concepts need to be explored within the organization that it's okay to create some type of template only with the understanding that not everyone may follow the template as rigorous and that you're going to see some flexibility in the way work's done. So that's going to do it. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have a topic you want us to discuss, feel free to reach out to us. Learn more at AgileDad.com. We would love to hear from you. And as always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.